Hi everyone, welcome to Natural Wonders. Today I've got a really beautiful art piece to do for you. I'm going to do a, a piece of modern art piece. It's basically something that you just have up in your room. Anybody can do it, the housewives at home, whatever, and they really look professional. And there's so many twists and variations to it as well, it's pretty cool and neat to do. Uh, what I'm planning on doing is having a three piece painting basically. So we're going to have all them three canvases on the wall and this will be a modern art piece from that. I'm masked up around it as you can probably tell. And I'll, I'll go through it step by step with you all and I'll just run the colours across the screen for you all to paint along with us. Right for the first stage of this I'm just going to use a, a one and a quarter inch brush. And I've got some gold paint there, gold leaf it is and some yellow ochre. So I'm just going to use them two colours load a bit on both sides of the brush and then with that I just want to come down in here just into there right up to the tip and just bring that colour down straight into that area something about like so lovely colour and then same at the top more or less identical to what you've got below that's what I'm wanting there keep getting your paint plenty on there Make sure you go right up to the masking tape with this. Right up to it. I'm going to push in and maybe make that come out a little bit further. Just there. Same over here. Just make it come out a bit further. There we go. Something simple like that. And then. While I've still got this same colour on my brush, I'm getting some yellow, cadmium yellow. And then, with that, I'm just going to pull some acrylic yellow, cadmium yellow, into that brush. And then just down the centre of each one, we're going to use some of that, just like so. I want plenty of colour in there and it'll start to streak a bit, I love that I really like it when it gives you that effect something about like so some more yellow on there so I haven't cleaned the brush I haven't cleaned it at all but use the brush on its side and stuff sometimes and just pull that down into it and it'll look like a little light glow just in that area that's lovely now on the edges we've got to get some burnt umber out and with that burnt umber I'm going to actually mix some burnt sienna really nice colours there we go so you've got burnt umber and Burnt sienna together, burnt umber, burnt sienna on the palette. Load both sides of the brush and I want the edges to be slightly darker in tone, just in there. In fact I'm actually going to put some bright red out as well because I want it to have a hue of bright red. So just in that area, I'm just going to get a bit of the red into that and then just in this area here, I'm going to push a bit of that into there, just a bit of that ready tone. Same over in here, I'll do the same, same up in there, same at that side and then I'm just going to blend that with the dark brown and allow it to actually blend gently to that then. We're blending really gently into that. 
get some more of that dark brown and the burnt sienna just for the edges oh I hit a bit of red there but it doesn't matter that's just fine I want it to have a lovely red hue anyway this colour same on that side yeah smart again back to the brown the red the burnt sienna darken these edges off on here as well paint it right through allow it to mix with that red that's on there and then just gently pull it down just in there you can allow it to mix with that other colour it should still be wet for you there. same with that red in there just allow it to blend to nothing there. but it's got to be done while it's wet so you've got to work pretty fast to do this but it's very much worth taking the time and effort it really is worth that time and effort just in there I have to just get a little bit more red into that bit so I'm going to touch a bit more red just up in here and then let it blend with that colour remember when you're coming into this yellow don't destroy it all you want to save a decent amount of it in there but it's nice to just drag a tiny bit of that colour into the yellow still just here and there see that, just drag a little bit of it in it's starting to run out of paint me now so it just gives some little details and bits and bobs that are going on in there now I just want to get some black super black and dark good and dark colour and then just on the edges the very edges I want it really dark like so let it blend again from dark into light there same in there put some of that dark in and let that blend into light just like so same at the top edge just up in here and the same old thing up there that's it and then you can allow it to blend slightly once you put the colour in excellent now just on the sides of this canvas I'm just going to twist this round. See that? I'm just going to twist it round for you to there because now we just want the Van Dyke brown, a bit of the red, Van Dyke brown, a bit of the red, and some black to darken it. There, something about like so is what I was trying to get. And then just up in here, it wants to be really dark on this edge of the canvas but again I'm just going from where the tape is basically there. nice one same again you have to be methodical when you're doing these things so do these sides before it has a chance to dry you got the, you put the masking tape all the way around the edge so when people see the sides it still has some lovely colour tones going on in there this lovely dark colour yeah. there we go that's 
good. Now I need to do the other side, so I'll turn the easel around the opposite direction like so. And I'm just going to get that same colour mixture, the red, the brown, the black, and I'm going to mix all that in there, good and dark again. So that I can do the same here. Make sure you go right up to that tape though. lovely bomb part. Look at that. There we go. That's a good dark bit. So I'm going to have a little look at that from the front. There we go. Now what I can do, I can just step back and have a bit of a look because uh, just that little step back then just allows you to see what he's doing do some of that red just in there too dark is that now I can use my finger just rub that out I'm just going to use a little bit of red and yellow and orange colour on the brush and just up in here I made a mark, so I'm just cleaning that out. So you can do this any anywhere where you got lines, anything like that, anything you're not happy with, basically. Uh, I'm pretty much happy with that. Just want a bit more dark on the edge there, where the lines are showing. Don't let the white of the canvas show underneath. And that's it. I'm happy with that. So what I'll do is I will just unmask it for you. You need a good masking tape for this, otherwise it creeps underneath the tape. So go to the car, a car repair shop, and they spray paint and stuff to them. So it's always the top, the best masking tape you can get, always. Whoops, my easel's stopping me getting this one off. Come on, it's been a little awkward but persistence will pay off in the end. Has paid off. So there we go. Let's pull that bottom part off as well. And now I'm going to move on to the other panels. Right, now I'm going to do exactly the same as I did on the lower part. On the other canvas, I'm going to do it here as well. Just the same thing. Now it wants to go right to about there. And then brush right through to there. So I'm just going to quickly apply this. Sometimes go along the tape first and then pull down. Whatever works for you. But be quick. You want this to stay wet while you're doing this. So you've got to be quick. Something about like that's what we're wanting. Same thing again. The gold and the yellow. Yellow ochre and the gold. Just up in here. Right up to the tip again. And then blend it up. Or down. I tend to go away from the masking tape most times. It helps not go, it helps the paint so it doesn't go underneath it there, that's cool and then the yellow let me get quite a bit of the yellow on because we want quite a lot of that in there there, nice and bright and have it blending out on either side like so, get some more I'll do this top area, blend that out Just pull, pulling up 
and then allowing it to blend off at either side into the other colour. There, that's good. I want it to stay wet though, and now I can go back into the yellow again. And I really want to make this really nice and bright, so I can actually just put some proper yellow in that centre area. Same down here. So all I'll do now, I'll just gently come up and go over that. I'll come down and go over that. There. Love it. And then I can stick some of this bright red into that cad yellow. And that gives us a lovely, a lovely orange just in here. And again, allow that red to blend to the yellow. Same thing again with the red just up in there. And when you put the colour on, it's always nice to play about with it and stuff. I'm just going to get some red again. Run out of red on my palette. So the, the bright red and the yellow, the lovely orange. Now I'm going to use a little bit of that, just there, so it's a bit brighter red. Same in there. And then I'll let it blend to it. So, I'm happy. I'm going to change this and I'm going to get more of the yellow, so it's still an orange. But it's an orange that's over here instead. See that? Just in there. A bit more yellow. Just pull that in. Allow that to mix with that. And you can even put that colour all the way on here. At least we'll have some on there then that's wet. Some of this dark colour now, the Van Dyke Brown. Some of the Van Dyke Brown. Burnt Sienna. And bright red. Yeah, Burnt Sienna, Van Dyke Brown, bright red again. And I'm just going to go onto the edge here and I'm going to make it very, very dark on this edge. There. Like it. And allow it to blend gradually to this colour. I like to use continuous strokes when I'm doing this so you don't end up with dints. You get dints in your other colours. See right there where it's dinted so if you start at the top and you just gently work your way down all the way. Now I want to get some of that blacky colour. This is black into the colour that we've got on there. It's all really lovely and wet and slick still. See how well that's blending for me. I'm not having to fight because it's staying wet. It's blending lovely. Same in here and there. Some of the darker colour but not quite as dark so I can mix it to that red softly. Same with that. Just mix it to the red. So I'm just going to step back and have a look at what I've got. Now, as I said before, I like to get a bit more of the yellow. And then here and there, just pull a few little streaks. Like that. Just coming through there, a few little streaks. And then use a clean brush. And then just blend it down. Gives a bit of detail in them areas, in the bright spots. Love it. Happy with how this is going. Blend that a bit at the edge. Right, so I'm just going to peel off the masking tape now. I always try 
try and pull away from it as well when I'm pulling the tape off. Pull away from the paint, otherwise you'll get this paint on the middle part here. And that's just what we don't want. We want to preserve that nice and clean. Right, so we've got this other canvas up now here. I'm going to be using. So I'm just going to use the yellow ochre again and the gold, uh, the gold leaf colour. Need a bit more of the gall into that. Yeah. Now we're getting there. I'll just put a, an extra blob of gold out. So we've got that gold yellow walker. And with that I'm just going to come in here and do the same as I did on the other one. But I'm going to do it slightly different. Don't always like them to be just exactly the same. Down, down there, do the same at the top, up here, let that colour just go in there nicely. All the way onto the end. To that we use the yellow on its own a lot of color though you use a lot of color when you're doing this see how i just put a bit in the middle there and then i come up here and allow me to keep some detail in with that i don't want it to just die that's good i like that effect you know these little stripes stripes stri stripes and stuff going up through it God, i couldn't even get that out there That'll actually really work well. So I'm just going to get some red now into it. And just in here, I'm just going to get some red and allow the red to blend to that colour that we've just put in there. Nice dark brown, just on the edge here. Straight raw umber. A bit more red mixed with that bit of raw umber again I can come right over that and right down to there that's it and let some of them stripes remain in there there we go now I want to do the same thing again I'm going to put a bit of black with it this time, a bit of darker colour, just on the edge, because the edges are a bit darker, with that darker tone. That's it. Red stuff, bit of red, bit of the dark. Just in there we want that. Just let it blend up softly, you know what I mean, really soft, into that colour. Same down in here. Softly let it blend with that yellow and the gold and all that lovely colour. So it looks like a stripe bit, basically going straight through there. And this time we're going to stick a bit of yellow there, stick a bit of yellow there. Just like so. Allow that to blend with that. A bit more of the yellow again. Make it a lovely orange colour. Now I'm going to go back to the gold. Because I've got all these colours mixed on there though, and we've got a mixture of the colours, basically. We've got a full on mixture of what's going on. Paint the edges, just give them a little going over as well. And then you can come back in here and just work on the, the thing that people can see. Just 
Right, so step back, have a good look at that. Yeah, I'm happy with how this is going so far. Just going to get a bit more yellow into this area here and into there. It's brightening it up slightly, and also because I'm applying yellow but it's on a dirty brush. What it'll do is it'll actually help it to mix with these colours on the sides slightly. See how I've made that much brighter now in there. I'll do the same up in here and make it a lot brighter. Go over it twice if you need to get the desired lightness. Something like so. Yeah. Great stuff now again. I'm going to come back and take off this masking set. Whoop, there's the other piece. I used two layers so that it were a bit fatter when I did this. Gives you a bit more room for error. Oh, this has been a bit off with this one. Right. This one. That's not going too bad at all. Now just in here I'm hoping I can just nick it with my nail, yeah? That's worked well. Been lucky. And I've also been lucky because it's not crept on the tape. Remember? A good quality masking tape is needed for this, really good quality one. 